Konnichiwa. Today we're going to be drawing a Japanese snow bug. Now this is a really cool bug that comes out in Hokkaido, Japan. It comes out in the fall when the weather gets colder and when the people see these, these bugs, they know it's gonna snow soon. So the snow bug is a tiny aphid that's back end is covered with these white filaments which make it look like a snowflake. They're pretty neat. And to create a wonderful art piece today, we're going to use some art magic. Now, if you've been watching Sketch and Tech videos, there is one episode where I teach you how to do art magic. You can go back and watch that before you do this, and you'll know all the tricks to make art magic on your snow bug. Let's get started. For our snow bug today, we're gonna to be using a few different supplies. Now, I found it works best if you use card stock or heavier stock paper. And we're going to be using watercolor paints. So you will need a brush, you will need some water and your watercolor paints. And then we'll draw with our, our pencil just like usual. Now we're gonna use our light lines again so that we can erase if we make any mistakes. And we're gonna use simple shapes and simple lines just like always so that our snow bug looks awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin with our snow bug, we are going to draw the head first, but this time, instead of drawing a complete circle, we're going to draw the letter C. Now, a snow bug's head is quite small, so we'll draw a tiny letter C like that. Let's add the eyes. We've got two circles for the eyes. We'll give him some dots in those eyes. And we wanna give him a nice big smile. He's a happy snow bug. Now, where we left this, this opening, very lightly, we're going to draw a light oval. Now, I thought it would be fun, since we're drawing a snow bug, let's give our snow bug some really cool earmuffs. Now, I don't think a real snow bug has earmuffs, but since we're the artists and we can draw things the way we like, we're gonna make our snow bug have some fun earmuffs. Now let's add these curved lines for his antenna. He's looking very good. Okay, now we're gonna add his second section of his body and it's just a simple circle. But it is quite a bit bigger than his head. So let's add this circle like that. Now this part, I want you to use your very lightest line and we're gonna draw a big oval, the abdomen or this third section of our snow bug is very large. So we're gonna draw a very large oval. Remember to do it very light because this is where we're going to do our art magic, okay? So we have the body. Now let's add his wings. So we'll do the first wing. It's kind of a long skinny oval. We'll let it connect here at the body with a point. Let's draw the second wing. This one's gonna be on the other side of his body, so we'll pretend it starts, and we'll draw only what we see. Like that. Very awesome, couple wings. Now, these wings have these lines that separate them. So you can go ahead and draw those in if you like. I'm just drawing those kind of lightly. And now we just gotta draw his legs. So let's draw some cool bug legs that come down. There's one. Now a bug like this would have six legs, but we're only gonna draw the ones on the side that we're seeing. There we go, that is looking really good. Before we do the coloring, I want to give you a little tip. Press really hard as you color so that you have really good coverage with your crayon. That's going to be important for our art magic. So I've got my crayons ready, I've got my white, I've got this purple color that I'm going to use, and then my black to do the outlining. You can choose the colors that you want to. You're going to want to use a white for the art magic. Make sure that with your white, you color the eyes really good. Remember to press hard. And let's do these earmuffs also white. Now, this is funny because 
as you're coloring with white, you're not gonna be able to see what you're, you're coloring. So just be careful, pay attention, and fill in every spot while you're pressing hard. Okay, and then we're going to do the entire back section. And I'm gonna make kind of jaggy lines along the edges there so that he looks nice and fluffy with those white filaments. And then I'll also color in the, the middle part of the leaves. Because the summer was so long this last year in Sapporo, Japan, there was a huge infestation of snow bugs in October. There were so many snow bugs in the sky on October 25th that people had to wear masks so they wouldn't breathe them in. They were sticking to everyone's clothes like crazy. It was kind of a snow bug storm. So we've got our coloring done. Now remember you pressed hard, did complete coloring. Now we get to do the art magic. This is the exciting part. I've got my paints ready. I've got my paintbrush. I've got my water and I am going to use a nice blue color and paint over the top of my cool snow bug. And let's see what happens. Now we've got our painting already done. As you can see, the, the areas that we colored with our crayon show through the paint. That's kind of the magic effect. So we've got the fuzzy white shown all through here and the wings are white and the fuzzy earmuffs are all white. I hope you really enjoyed doing this. This is a fun thing to do with any drawing that you're working on. Just remember to press hard when you're coloring and you'll, you'll have fun. I hope you really enjoyed this. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe so that you can do more drawings with Sketch and Tech. And I'll see you next time.